Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Rachel here with Makers Gonna Learn, your ultimate die cutting community. If you guys don't really know what Makers Gonna Learn is, click the very first link in the description below to see what you are missing. Makers Gonna Learn is a digital die cutting community that has over 1400 digital cut files, over 250 fonts, a free commercial license, free printable guides, and access to a members only Facebook group, and so, so much more. If your Cricut machine or any die cutting machine works with the SVG or PNG cut files, then you can also enjoy Makers Gonna Learn. Without further ado, today I'm gonna to be showing you a ton of awesome Cricut Blade storage solutions and a little bit of uh, tips and tricks to store your tools as well. But we're talking about blades here today first and uh, I don't know about you guys, but we have a lot of Cricuts, we have a lot of blades, we have a lot of replacement blades and sometimes it's hard to keep all those together. Uh, one goes over this way, one goes over that way and then without even Knowing it, you have lost a lot of your uh, very expensive Cricut blades or uh, blade uh, replacements and things like that, and we do not want that. So the way to not lose anything and to keep everything organized is to plan accordingly, to buy organizers fit for things in your craft studio. So what's going to happen today is I'm going to show you some storage solutions that we got at our local craft store that are not really intended for Cricut blades, however, that work perfectly with them. I can't wait to break all of these awesome uh, little storage solutions down for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, we've got a lot on the table, but the first thing I wanna talk about is something that you guys have seen a lot. So we have this little clear uh, box that has a handle on it, and you can see everything inside of it. And this is where we love keeping a lot of our weeding tools and things like that. We keep a lot of Cricut tools in here, but to show you the versatility of some of today's um, uh, storage solutions, I have went through and placed some of our uh, other Cricut tools that we normally keep in here in other uh, solutions for us today. So next we're going to talk about this. It's really, really cool. Uh, this is just a six by six, six by six storage box. And in the, um, in the little photo, it says that it can be used for like paper, but today we have used it to um, have some of our Cricut tools in, some of our spatulas, some of our uh, tweezers, some of our um, stylus um, pins here, and some uh, scissors here. And it's six by six, and um, it's not very tall, but it's pretty wide, which means you can fit a lot in here. This was $4.99 at Hobby Lobby, and I love the way it opens. So I hate storage solutions that don't have clasp or clamp lids, and I love this one. So it opens just like this, and then you can go ahead and open it, but then to shut it, it closes and then locks in place. And I really like that it locks in place as well. So that is a really, really good little feature for that one. Next is something that's a little bit smaller, and this one, guys, would be amazing for blades as well. So if you guys have several fine point blades or anything like that, these little compartments fit blades perfectly. So this was $2.99 at Hobby Lobby and it says a mini utility organizer. So this was really, really cute. I'll hold up the uh, barcode for you guys as well. Uh, if you guys want that, I'll hold up that barcode. And I'll hold up the barcode to this other one too, just in case you guys wanna screenshot this and search for any of them. So there's that barcode as well for the first one. But this is great for Cricut blades. So you could, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, you could hold up to stick it, six blades in here and maybe some replacement blades up above. But I just love the compartments in this to keep everything nice and organized. I really, really like that. Um, and then the third one we have, and this is the Paper Studio. So if you guys uh, are paper crafters at all, you probably know uh, Hobby Lobby's Paper Studio products here. But this little clasp is cute too. So it's like a pop clasp. You pop it uh, down and then you can pop it open. And in here, just to show you today, it's very, very um, thin. So as you can see, but it is pretty wide. So it's uh, it says hold four inch by six inch photos. So this is like a photo holder for uh, standard size photos for when you're paper crafting, which is great. But it can also hold some Cricut tools and things like that. Some, so we've got a bunch of spatulas in here. But that is another great little storage solution. And this was only $2.50. I definitely love the Paper Studio uh, prices. And the next one, guys, is going to blow your all's mind. It's definitely my favorite. This is a Paper Studio Craft 
caddy, six bucks, okay? It has a handle, and hang on, let me hold, hold up the, uh, oh, this one doesn't even have a barcode. Well, goodness gracious, well, hmm. Anyways, let me go ahead. This one doesn't have a barcode either. I think it's just because it's the, the brand it is. I don't know, but anywho, this has a handle on it, and then it has a lid right here that you can open up, so you can go ahead and take this lid, open that lid up. It has one, two, three, four, five, six compartments up here in the top, and that's not all, guys. You can take out this little tray, and then you have all of this space in here to be able to uh, have things. This is where you could put your Cricut tools. It's where you could put some replacement blades and things like that. So that is so much room in there. We absolutely love this one. And then, guys, we're not even done. It has one, two, three, four, five different little detachable, um, I guess th these are like mini organizers and they have one, two, three, four, five compartments in each. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25 compartments just around the side in this little uh, this little bin, you can pop this bin off, you can put them back on, but this is an amazing uh, little way to organize your blades. And again, I'll show you the lid here. So this is the lid from Hobby Lobby. Uh, storage craft caddy it's seven piece love that with detachable organizers so guys here is what it looks like and then i'm going to show you the one that we have filled up with all of our uh, blade goodness so i'm going to set that one to the side and here is the one that we have filled with all of our blades and things like that so popping the top off just like we did before we have a lot of replacement blades in here so we have uh these are deluxe uh fine point blades and then these are uh some regular fine point blades here. And then uh, in this compartment down here, we have three rotary blade replacements. We did have to cut the top part of those off, but I would I hated to like open all of this because you know, um, this all goes together and I hate to lose it. So I just cut the top off of those and now that middle compartment fits in there perfectly. And you can go ahead and place the top back on there and then we'll start going around uh, here. So this is where we've stored our blades, okay guys? So here are our fine point blades, okay? It fit all of them perfectly. You can see they even have a little bit of wiggle room here. So here's all of our fine point blades and you can open this up. There's just two little clasps and grab your fine point blade and you're ready to craft, you're ready to roll. When you're done with it, you can pop it back in there and close those clasps back. And then if we turn it around here, we have uh, two, this one is the uh, Martha Stewart fine point blade. This is our deep cut blade. Uh, this right here, I believe is our, uh, is a rotary blade and then so is that. So we have two rotary blades here on the edges. We have a free compartment. We have the Martha Stewart um, fine point blade and then we have our deep cut blade. Then we rotate it again. We have uh, both of our quick swap housings and then we have our um, scoring wheels here. So we have, uh, since we did buy, we do have like two sets. We have two of the, um, two a piece of the scoring wheels, two of the single and two of the double. So that's what's in here. And if you turn it again, here we have uh, the brand new uh, Cricut tool. So we have another quick swap housing here. And then we have the wavy blade, the uh, in deboss blade, and then, or excuse me, I say blade. That is a wavy blade, but this is a um, deboss tool. And then that is the engraving tool. Uh, so we have all those in there too. And then turning it even more, this looks like a mess, doesn't it? Uh, this is the knife blade. So we have a knife blade, and then we have one, two, three, four uh, different knife blade replacements because if you guys know, knife blades run out on you quick. They get dull quick, and we need our knife blade to be on its A game. And then we're back now to our awesome fine point blades. So guys, look at all the storage that this caddy gives. So much storage, and we have all that stuff in there. And this, guys, you can just take it with you and just take it wherever you need to go. Set it wherever you need to. It doesn't take up very much space. $5.99, and this is the the Cricut Blade storage solution that I have to uh, give props to. And I'll go ahead and hold this up again. I hope that you guys can find this at Hobby Lobby. I will try my hardest to link it below. I'm going to try as hard as I possibly can to find this and link it below. So all you guys have to do is click and buy because this is a definite must have for storing Cricut Blades.
Guys, what did you think about that? I love storing my Cricut tools and Cricut blades. I love to know that they are all in a place and that if I need to go grab one and I need to make a last minute project or I need tweezers right away, I know exactly where to grab, I know exactly where to go, and all of this is nice and organized for me. And guys, you could even go as far as to make little print and cut labels and label them if you wanted to, take it that extra mile. Anything that you guys wanna do would be awesome, but we love these storage solutions go to your um, local um, package store your local little uh, organizer store and see what they have because I know that they could possibly have a lot more solutions than this but so far this craft caddy has been the thing for me to grab it's from again the paper studio it's $5.99 I'll try and link it below I'll try my best guys but I love these storage solutions and these are a must for definitely keeping all of those Cricut Blades organized. I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section below. If you haven't already joined Makers Gonna Learn, click the very first link in the description to see what you're missing. Uh, as always, give this video a thumbs up and I hope that you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and showing you guys all these solutions. Click that bell and get notified when more of these awesome videos come out. And as always, guys, have a great day and stay crafty. Bye.